The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Wanted to show you all a fine, very detailed, up close and personal picture of this monk fruit with allulose sweetener from Deal Supplement. It's good. It's exactly like sugar. According to everything I've read, all the research, it does not spike your glycemic index. So it doesn't spike your blood sugar at all. It doesn't do any of that. What I do notice is that it's a little bit, to me, it's a little bit stronger than sugar. So let's say you took a teaspoon of regular table sugar and then you took a teaspoon of this. This is going to taste a little bit sweeter. I'd say by about 20% more. So what does that translate into? You could use 80%, right, as a replacement for sugar. So let's say you were going to use sugar in like a gelato or granita recipe, which I just did a video on, and you were going to use like 500 grams of sugar. Instead, you could use 400 grams of this and you would get the same sweetness. The taste comparison, they're both like this compared to sugar. They're both sweet. This does not have any chemical aftertaste or funniness to it. I don't get the headaches that I was getting with sugar. So that's a good thing. If I had to really narrow it down, there is like a essence kind of note to it. And I think that's coming from the monk fruit. It has like a fruity, sugary, fruity kind of a sugary taste to it. Like think of the sweetest peach you ever ate or the sweetest apple or the sweetest strawberry or whatever. It has that fruit juice sweetness to it, that little, little tiny aftertaste in terms of the sweetness, but it tastes good. I would totally use this if you're one of those keto people that's looking for a sweetener and you don't want any, you know, any quote unquote sugar. Let's take a look at the ingredients so you can see what that's all about and also the nutritional information and the facts and all that stuff. So there's your dietary fiber, total sugar, zero, protein, zero. Everything is pretty much zero, right? Carbohydrates, this is four grams of carbs in every serving. And I think what that's coming from mostly is probably from the monk fruit more than the allulose, maybe a little bit on the allulose. But in terms of like if you're diabetic, I have heard, don't quote me, do your own research, but I have heard that this will not spike your blood sugar the same way that sugar will. It's two totally different things, two opposite ends of the spectrum, if you want to think about it that way. If you are diabetic, ask your doctor, see what your doctor thinks. For me personally, if I had to choose between sugar and using this, just for general health purposes, for sweetening purposes, whatever, I'd rather use this. And if this might be too pricey for you, you can always just go with straight allulose without the monk fruit. And I did put some links down below in the description. I also put some links in the comment section to the best bang for the buck prices that I could find for this. So highest quality, lowest price, right? Best bang for the buck. This is the brand that currently has that deal going on. So that's why I put a link to it down below in the description, also in the comment section. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, hit the comment section if you have any comments or questions. Continuing with this video, if you made it this far, I've made granita with this and it's phenomenal. It freezes smooth and it has a lot of, lot of nice creamy notes or texture or feel to it. The same way that like real Italian granita has when you're on the streets of Sicily, basically. So it freezes well. I've heard that it bakes well. I have yet to taste that. I'm going to be making some probably biscotti soon. So we'll see how that all works out. But as far as I know, it's it's a one-to-one -one replacement for sugar, even though I think this is a little bit sweeter than sugar. Like I said, I would use about 80% instead of using the 100% of whatever your recipe calls for if it's sugar. So like I said, if your recipe calls for 500 grams of sugar, use 80% of that 400 grams of this stuff to equal the same amount of sweetness. And once again, just looking at... Your texture here, it is a little bit finer than granulated sugar. Like as you can see, I'm pointing to right there. It kind of is like a cross between powdered sugar and granulated sugar. So you do get a little bit more fineness to it. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing, once again, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.